Hello. Husky's back again with more Seattle Bobcats GM mode franchise mode commentary. Uh, last video we had a very disappointing and frustrating playoff run where we were outed by the St. Louis Blues in the first round. Uh, we lost in seven games after blowing a 3-1 lead. It's getting real old EA. Getting sick of losing in the playoffs to shitty teams when I have a damn good team. Um, as you can see, I have 14 million in cap space. I have to sign Line A and Goodolbin. Um, and that's really it. I have a couple of RFAs I have to sign as well. Um, the big move, I mean big move, I wouldn't even call it big, but I'm going to try to trade Truba. Uh, he's an 81 overall. I think that's because he's upset, really. Because um, obviously he wasn't playing his ice time. He was playing bottom six. He's a top four defenseman. Uh, Morris, he's unhappy as well, but he's not to the point where he's um, like upset upset. I think I just need to put him on the power play. I don't think I put him on the power play. I don't remember. But I'm going to try to move Truba. I can't move him now. Um, which stinks, because I would like to move him now. Um, and I have to sign Carter Hart, but he wants a cheap deal, so he's not an issue. So I'm going to try to sign Line A and Goodolbin to friendly deals. Uh, Line A wants 9.9, .9, so if I bring out my handy-dandy calculator and do the... And do the little, um, I think it was 85%? I don't honestly remember. Uh, that's still paying a lot for him if that's the case. I mean, he's a 94 overall, and I fully anticipate having to spend this. And I'm only doing two more seasons of Seattle. So I offered him eight. Godolbin doesn't want nearly as much, so I can probably get him for like 5.7. We'll try it 5.55, and we'll see if that goes through. So right now that's five, right now that's all of my cap space in them two. Now I can't, I can't trade players in the resign phase, so I'm pretty fucked in terms of, all right, well I signed them both and they're both on, uh, pretty much team friendly deals. Um, what's really going to bite me in the ass is if we don't win the cup this season, like this current season we're going into, um, I have to re sign Morgan Riley, Seth Jones, Callan Foote, uh, Morrissey, Carlson, Hamannick, Carlson, Patan, Lemieux. Like, I have to sign my entire team next season. Um, I mean, I'll have 42 million in cap space to do it. But I have 1.9 in cap space right now. I just... I don't have much I can do. Um, but all of these guys belong on the... Like, I can't bring myself to trading it. I mean, Morrissey... Or not Morrissey. Truba obviously needs to go. Um, but these guys... I mean, they're not making ridiculous contracts. I'm probably going to have to bail out on Rantanen... Probably from the bailout on Ranson and Ann Connor and Cop, unfortunately. And just offer them, just qualify all of them. Because I want to sign Carter Hart, but I don't have the cap space for it. I mean, I could offer him 1.9, that'd be all of my cap space. I don't think he's going to want that, though. So we might just be stuck with. Jonathan Quick, regardless, until I can figure out a way to shed some cap, but because my top six is so heavy, and even my third and fourth lines, I mean, I don't have a single guy making less than two million. Yeah, I knew Carter Hart wouldn't sign, that doesn't surprise me. And the rest of the guys are RFAs that I don't expect to sign. Um, I guess I'll qualify Carter, and then maybe try to sign him in free agency, because he's an RFA, right? Yeah, so I'll qualify him, because I'm sure somebody will throw him an offer. I don't see why they wouldn't. But as for everybody else, yeah, I'm just going to have to qualify him. And hope that they sign on. Like I said, I don't have a lot of cap space. Um, I might have to get a little... Like that, um... 
if I look at my team defense right now, I have I have five quality defensemen. I could probably even downgrade Morrissey as well. And I can probably put this uh, Mikola guy. Like, I don't want to downgrade that much. Ideally, 82 and 83 are where I want to sit my third pairing. Because I'm going to have to. Like, I don't have a choice. Um, as much as I love Cop because he won me that playoff game, he really doesn't do much for me otherwise. I don't even think he played. He didn't play, so he's not someone I'm worried about. Um, we'll go ahead and send him to free agency. Uh, before I do that, let me see if I have any rookies I need to re-sign. I don't think I do. Um, RFA. Just go ahead and qualify these guys, because even if they sign, it'll be two-way deals, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not too concerned about these guys. These guys I want to sign because they're rookies. And they can be trade bait. These guys haven't... I don't have to sign just yet. I don't care about them. I think I'm good goaltending. Let me sign DeMaio. I'll qualify Masiello. And we'll hope some of these guys take qualified RFA contract. I mean... I'm, I'm, I'm in a pinch here. I mean... 94, 96, 90 is still damn good stats. Alright, so I've... I signed all my rookies. So my first, my, my goal... I'm going to do the whole offseason in this video. I'm not going to worry about... Like, let's uh, let's see what's out there. I'm not gonna worry about input because my team's pretty much built. I just have to kind of downgrade my defense a little bit. Cody CC is a 90. Man, I'm doing a Rangers one on my own time, and Cody CC sucks. I traded for him. He didn't get higher than 84. Um, there's a lot of guys out here that are, would be I would love to grab, but I don't have the cap space. Uh, defensively, are there cheap guys that are decent? 82, 82. Troy Stetcher wouldn't be bad. 4.3 million to fuck off. Ryan Graves. He's an RFA. He is an RFA. He's also 2.5. Fuck off. Why are defensemen so expensive? Well, I mean, if I trade uh, Truba and Morrissey, I can afford to probably get Stetcher. I would love to sign Stetcher, man. He's a bit expensive, and I don't think he's worth 4.3. He's absolutely not worth 4.3, but because it's free agency, their prices go up. Alright, so let's see if I can move Truba. Or maybe I just bring back a defenseman. The process. The only issue is Truba's... Oh, he's still got decent trade value, so I can probably get him to a decent team. Um, it's just a matter of finding a defenseman <clears throat> to bring back that's not terrible. Alright, they're not an option. Now, I didn't do any pre-scouting. Like, this is all... I'm doing all this in this video. Zaitsev, are you a top six? You are. How much do you make? You make 3.7. Fuck off. Travica, he'd be an 82 or anything. Look at that shot. For a defensive defenseman, his defensive stats aren't the greatest, but... Oh, he's an 81, but with morale, he'd be an 82 or an 83. He's also only 21 years old. Uh, I'll come back for him. Travica, Chicago. This is for Truba, so if I can find... Like, Lucas Pisa wouldn't be terrible. 83 overall. Defensive defenseman makes 3.3. It's a bit much. Martin Marinson, how much do you make? You make 3.8. Uh, the only issue with defensemen in this game, man, is they are overpaid out the ass. Zach Wierenski. I bet if I brought him in, he'd be a decent... He's, only, he's, not, he's not making anything. I'm going to come back for Wierenski. And see if... Actually... What can I get for Warinski? Not trading Truba. Can I give you this Poulin kid? Like I said I'm only doing two more seasons, so I know it's a little, it's a little cheaty. But my rookies, I don't have a need for, and I want to take a chance on Warinski. He's not making. He's on a two-way deal, I think. Right? Oh, he's on a one-way deal, but he doesn't make anything. So, in theory, if I bring him in, he should be... Give me a third Morninski for this Poulin kid. That's too much. Alright, let's just do one for one then. 
Alright, so I'm interested to see where Zach Wierenski's stats actually are. Because if he can slot in on that third pairing, that'd be perfect. I still need to trade Truba because his morale is in the ch fucking shitter. Um, where's Wierenski? He's an 83 overall. 23 years old, low elite. That That's perfect. He makes no money across the cap. So I can afford to move Truba. Still, I kind of want that kid from Chicago. But I want to keep looking... Nope, I'm only going to trade him to teams that want him. Because it's going to be too much of a pain in the ass to trade him to teams that don't want him. Uh, defenseman. I would still like to bring back a defenseman. Hypergosia, no. So, Wierdinski, ideally, when he's, like, maxed out morale, he would be an 84 overall, possibly 85. This cold and white kid's not terrible. He's on a 1.3 year. I'll tell you what, man. That Chicago kid still looks really good. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through the process here and see if I can find a decent defensive pair for that bottom pair. 3.1. Fuck off. 3.1. Again, man. These defensemen are overpaid. Like the real NHL. Larson, he's not a happy camper. Jakob Larson, 1.5. I wonder if he's unhappy to the point where his stats have taken a hit. 1.5. I can probably trade Truba. Get Larson. Oops, not goalies. They don't want to give him any... Give me a third near defenseman for Truba. Trade rejected. Just a touch, huh? I'll give you a third. That's probably not enough. Oh well. Alright, so I'm interested to see what Jakob Larson, Jacob Larson's stats are. Uh, show me 84 overall. So look at that. So we've upgraded from an 80... I mean, we've downgraded from Truba, but we have an 84 and an 82 overall. Both on really nice deals. Larson's 1.5 for two years. Warninski's three years at 960k. Um, so does that put me with, that puts me with seven defensemen, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, so I can honestly trade Morrissey, because his cap hit's not the best. Like, he's an 86 overall, which is nice, but I wouldn't even know what I want to trade him for. I'd have to look at my team again and see, like, my defense is good. Um, let's see. So centers down the middle. I've got Shifley, Monahan, Castles, Carls. All right, so they're all good still. Wingers. I have Kachuk, Panarin. I need bottom six guys, ideally. Um, maybe I just trade Morrissey for a draft pick or a prospect, and then hit free agency up and see if I can find anybody. I'm trying to trade Corey Schneider. First round pick. Hopeful. Tobias Enstrom and Roman Polak. No, I'm good. The Islanders. Nobody. Rangers. Nobody. Rangers have 26 million in cap space. So that's Ottawa. The Phillies over the cap limit with Mike Green. Okay, no thank you. Nobody. Burn burn. 73 overall. Yeesh. Should have cut ties there, San Jose. How does all these teams have so much cap space? Give me these three AHLers. Oh, they'd be over to cap. Damn it. Blake Como, 82 overall, 35 years old. How much does he make? 2.3. He'd be a decent bottom six guy. He'd be over to cap, so they have to give me somebody else. Worst comes to worst, I'll put him in the minors and call it a day. Um, Shoemake, 900k, that should be enough, right? Yeah, give me Blake Como, this kid. Do you have anybody else you want to give me? Oh, man, Mitch Marner, not a happy camper. What does he make, 1.1? Actually. 
Instead of Blake Como. That's close. They'd have to give me something back. Let me see if I can get Blake Como too. So Blake Como and Mish Marner for Josh Morrissey. Trade rejected. Alright, so I'd probably have to give them a draft pick. Which they don't want. No, you want Anaheim's third? Do it up. Alright, trade accepted. So what's Mitch Marner's stats look like? Mitch Marner is an 84. So basically just slots in and takes like Miko Rantanen. Or I'm I'm going all four lines, just gonna beat you with offense this year. And then I've got Blake Como down here somewhere that can Holy shit, where the hell is Blake Como? He's an 81 overall. He's 35 years old. I mean, he he makes a bit, but he's a decent bottom six guy, I think. So how much cap space do I have? I have 4 million in cap space. So I really didn't make a dent. I think the Blake Como thing was probably... You know, maybe I just trade Blake Como instead. Let's go back to that. Let's try to trade Blake Como for like a prospect. <clears throat> I still think my defense, honestly, is pretty fucking stacked, considering uh, Blake Como, Blake Como, here he is. Let's see if I can find anybody. That, Arizona wants him. Um, oh, wow. Damn it. Oops. Uh, I don't have much else to give you, so I'll give you a third next year. A third next year in Blake Como. For Fisher. Done. I don't know who Christian Fisher is. I don't really care. He's a cap. He's an RFA who's not going to get signed. Alright, so let's see. Free agency. 95, 96, 90. So we improved our offense by... Changing our deep. So I have 6 million in cap space. Um, honestly, the first move is to try to sign Carter Hart, to be honest with you. Uh, he's probably not going to take that, to be honest. But if he takes that, I need a bottom 6 forward still. Come on, there we go. Um... Yuri Toulouse, no. Matt Martin, no. Austin Watson. Two way forward, decent defense. Chris Stewart. Mm. Well, I've got. Oh, I don't have a. Connor Brickley, Yuri Toulouse. Let's throw out Toulouse a contract. Let's throw Connor Brickley a contract. And let's sim and see if we get. Well, the only person that matters is Carter Hart, to be honest with you. He's really the only person I want. Calendar. Did not want to go to Calendar. Come on. Made the mistake of, oh, well, Christian Fisher accepted. Oh, he must have had a qualifying offer. Kyle Connor's been offered an offer sheet. Uh, they can have him. Connor Brickley, uh, near to Lucy sign. Come on, Carter Hart. Oh, I don't have the cap space for him anymore. God damn it. Fuck. <laughs> I have 3.1 in cap space. Uh, how much does he want? He wants 3.7. Alright, let's, um... Should I just buy somebody out? Cody CC went to the Hawks, because the Hawks just won the Stanley Cup. That's what they need is a 90 overall fucking defenseman. I did that, and we sucked. Alright, so if I sort by... Salary. Travis Hamannick, Brendan Lemieux, Carlson, Patan, Gary Tulisi, Cole Castles, Connor Brickley. Cap 
Jasper Captain, Zakorinsky. Try to trace Chris Weidman just for something. Hey, and I'm on some. What do you want to give up? Nothing. How about a fifth? Oops. Give me a fifth for Chris Weidman. Alright, now I have four million. The guy hasn't been on the NHL team in three seasons. What are you upset about? Fuck off. Play four million. Let's go ahead and try to sign Carter Hurt. Just give him what he wants, because... Because I don't know. Come on, Carter Hart. Come on, Carter Hart. I'm not going to... Third round pick for Miko Rantanen. I'll take the compensation. Come on, Carter Hart. There we go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sim the next season. And we'll see how progression works, and I will call this a video. Alright, so... Uh, we can't possibly be worse, right? Like, I can't... Oliver LeBlanc, cool. I don't know. Alright, so all my RFA guys are starting. A whole bunch of RFA guys signing. Nine bucks an hour? Fuck that. Sorry. Looking over intern opportunities and nine dollars an hour does not really interest me, especially if it's just going to be collecting trees. God, I really hope that we win the cup this year because I'm not going to have any fucking cap space next year to sign. Because Morgan Riley's not going to take five million dollars; he's going to want like ten as a ninety-six overall defenseman. Oh man. I'm also still looking for suggestions for that playoff ready team and then like a rebuild immediately after roster. What the hell is going on outside my door? Well, I think my door is just banging in the frame. Hopefully you can't hear that. It annoys the hell out of me, but I can't hear it with the headset on. God, I'm still, I mean, I recorded the St. Louis video two days ago, and I'm still pissed off about it. Don't understand how we can't fucking win a goddamn playoff series. We won the cup the year prior with a shittier team. This, this game drives me nuts, man. Like, I have the same issue. Like I said, I'm doing a Rangers one in my spare time. And my team is sick. Like, my top nine is stacked. I have quality depth. My defense could be at least a little work, but my goaltending is nasty. Like, I have Corpusalo, who's a 92. And we can't win more than 40 games. Like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong with these teams. Like, I feel like I'm doing everything I'm supposed to. Like, I'm putting together solid rosters. Like, I watched um, Superb Man's most recent Colorado video. And he had 97 offense and couldn't score in the playoffs, but he had 90 defense, which made sense. Like, it's... Win the Stanley Cup. Hey, man, I'm... I'm on board. Let's, uh, let's get my team... I'll set up here. I'm scared to see if Quick... Alright, well, what I want to look at is Jonathan Quick. Are you still... He's an 88, so that's not terrible. He's still a quality starter. Carter Hart didn't change at all, which kind of upsets me, but I don't think he's going to get much better. Actually, before I do that, who's in the system? Count Foot needs to come up. Actually, I think that's it. Nope, 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 not Morgan Riley. 
Call up Kellen Foot. Nope, that's Olson. All right, so oops, I'm a mess. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. All right, let's see what my team looks like when I hit it at lines. Again, sorry for the long video, but I wanted to get all the offseason done. All right, so we want Kachuk on that side, Line on that side, Panarin, Monahan, Goodolbin, Lemieux, Carlson, Patan. Everybody's pretty much status quo. Brickley, Castles, Toulouse. Um, do I stick with Connor Brickley, or do I just go all out offense with Mitch Marner instead? I think I go all out, all out offense with Mitch Marner. Who has better faceoffs? Cole Castles does. Marner has 88 defensive awareness, so I mean. That fourth line might not be terrible. I'm scared my team might not be able to keep pucks out of the net, but goddamn, we're going to put them in the net. I swear to God. And defensively, Riley, Jones, Foot, Hamannick, Larson, and Wierenski. And these are bottom six guys. Oh, Larson's top four. Really? Your top four is an 84 overall? Why? Hamannick's already upset, so I need to leave him on that top four. God, his defense is amazing. All right, but yeah, 96 overall. Morgan Riley, man. $5 million. All right, this is a team we're going to roll with, man. Jonathan Quick and Carter Hart. Those are our goalies. So I got that third line rocking. Actually, I want to put Lemieux on the right side. Yeah. All right, there we go. There's our team. I still think we're stacked, man. If I had cap space, I'd look to... I really got to get my door taken care of after this. But yeah, I'm going to call it there. As always, remember to comment any decisions you think I should look into making. And as always, leave a like if you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. And hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can get a strong playoff run going here, because boy fuck, we need it.